Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe hour. Jumping in again this time we're going to go as little old Maggie and we're going to go for the sack room player right off the bat if we can get one early on. Um, I mean as Maggie if you're not on a streak holding R to get a sack room is basically the only way that's truly right to play her. The chance that an angel room um, or, or like angel item is just too damn good so you've got, you've got to take it when it comes. Let's try it out. And get ourselves some nice rewards. I love this the fact that this strategy as Maggie is like so possible now. There you go, got an Angel Teleport. Set side damage to seven. Regards of prior damage ups. Um damage ups obtained will still add as as expected. So this just doubles our damage off the bat, which is quite nice. Um Oh, it puts us up to ten damage, and we get monstrance as well here. I'd say that's pretty good off the bat. Uh, Monstrance, I don't think, is super amazing, but it's not. It's definitely not bad. Oh, one minute. Oh, I've got a really itchy leg. Yeah, it's definitely not bad. And getting um, getting ten damage here is uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, and we get ourselves on you shoots five. Um, uh, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a, a charge of Yum Heart first. Before I grab that, but I think I'll be taking that, you know. I think I'll be taking that. It seems pretty darn good. Yeah, we'll try and use Monstrance where we can to get some extra damage, but we don't want to put ourselves in too much danger. Cool, and we can heal up there just to make sure we don't get one shot by a champion. And then we can uh, we can head on. I mean, I suppose what we could do is we could try and... Do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this a little longer and see if we get some more charges for Yum Heart. Um, and then take the pepper at the end because we might be able to get more players on our sack room and get all the soul hearts all the money Got one of these empty hearts, which is kind of nice. Uh, I mean, there's not a super high chance, but this is an XL floor I'm pretty sure. Is it not? No, I thought it was for some reason. I don't know why I thought that Good old monster and doing some good work for us here. I like it Okay Getting the double charge from this room is rather nice. What are you guys doing? You've lobbed that head in a really awkward position there. Okay, so we get another heal here. And then I guess we'll kill our boss and see what HP we get from him because we don't have the fires ready. Oh, unfortunately we're getting Lump of Coal out of this guy. Not Lump of Coal, I'd love Lump of Coal. We're getting uh, Ball of Bandages. Either way, how is everybody's day today? That's just a simple question of the day. Are you having a good day? And if not, why not? Tell me. Tell me your troubles and I shall fix them. Even though I have literally no way of doing that, apart from potentially giving you a mild bit of entertainment for around an hour. That's all I can offer. Anyways, um... Get all the troll bombs here. Why? Why? Why did you have to do that troll bomb? We could have got an additional player here. I don't think there's any way we can get an extra play out of this now. I think I've buggered it. I had enough HP to make it work and the troll bomb stole it from me. Do I even want these fires? Do I just want to keep the yum heart for a little bit of safety? I think I want to keep the yum heart to be honest. Eh, I don't know. This is extra damage though. Maybe, maybe I will take this. Kind of up in the air at the minute. I don't really know. We are trying to do hush here so I should probably just stop pissing around. All right, let's take this thing. Little annoyed by that, I'll be honest. If I didn't hit that troll bomb, I could have got my seven soul hearts or at least a lot of money, which would have been quite nice. I guess I could check the shop in case there's like a random heart on the floor, but I doubt it. There is a penny, but that doesn't really do anything for me. I've got no bombs, so I've got no way of like grabbing extra HP from anywhere or getting into a secret room or whatnot. Just a little bit unfortunate, to be honest. But anyways, let's carry on. Good damn tinted rock there as well. Upsetting my spaghetti, but our damage is in a really good place now with monstrance and everything. I don't really know how good the um the what's it called is the pepper. That was just like the worst hit of my entire life. I just kind of stood there and took it. That was so dumb. I really don't know what I was thinking. Right, yeah. I don't know how valuable the pepper's gonna end up being, I'll be honest. With it being, like, random, it seems iffy at best, but I can maybe make it work. I mean, like, in situations like that, it's pretty good, right? 
Flat file. Oh my god. Hell yes, flat file. Wow. Thank you for this bountiful reward, flat file. You really enabled that to happen. Really need to fix these guys with the fire they produce and it just being like the laggiest thing on earth. Right, let's fight the boss. What? So, I'm a little confused here because I gained the golden spatula, which you can normally only get during the um, during the challenge that's called like I can't remember what the hell the challenge is called now, but there's a challenge where there's like I'm really confused as to what's happened here. <laughs> How the hell did I get that? What? I'm very confused by that. It's not what I expected to happen at all. You can bugger off and all. Yeah. Really, really don't know how to describe what just happened there. I love that you can put, that you can put out enemies with these barrels. It's so cool. Our oh, game. Are you not going to give me a key? Seriously. Is that how we're going to play this? Ugh. No key. Just despicable behaviour. Right. Secret room, I'm honestly not too sure about. Um, I guess it could be here. Anger. Right, teleport. Please teleport me straight into the item room. Yes, it did. Oh, guillotine. I hate it so much. But I have to take it. I have to. It's fire rate and damage. I can't say no, even though I just guillotine's the worst. But also, can we just talk about how goddamn lucky that teleport was? <laughs> that was not golden teleporter. That was regular teleporter. I just got really lucky. But yeah, if anyone knows what happened to Griddlehorn there, please feel free to let me know, because I am quite perplexed, to be honest, by what happened there. But yeah, while guillotine is annoying as hell, there's a lot more annoying items nowadays, so I've kind of gotten used to it. We'll try and keep our Devil Deal alive somewhat this time, if we can. If plausible, it would be lovely. Guillotine's probably going to make that a little harder than it has to be, but... Hey, her. Oh, I do not. I do not. I do not. I do not like this. Thank God we have the flat file. That made that so much easier. I was panicking a little bit thinking, oh no, one of these spikes going to pop up. And then I was like, oh yeah, I've got the flat file. They will not pop up ever. They will never pop up. Hey, a key, baby. Cool. That, that puts us in a safety spot now to get our devil deal. Of which I don't know if I'm going to take or not yet. Angel deal is obviously going to be better for us. Can't goddamn hit that guy. But, I don't know. I'm, I've got some HP right now. I've got some HP to spend. Right. Keep it moving. The good thing is that uh, Monstrance gives us a good sort of baseline of where our character model actually is. Rather than looking at the, um, the head or the body. Mon just look at the Monstrance circle to kind of know. Kind of nice. I'm still going to have trouble walking out of doors, as you just saw there. I'm actually quite liking this this pepper. I think this pepper's very, very good. Very strong. Item room, I'd like you back, please. I'd also like to get a charge on this before. I just want to see if it insta-kills every boss, or if that was just a weird out-of-the-blue thing. This looks like secret room to me. did get an extra bomb as well, so I'll check. Beautiful stuff. We get a crawl space for our reward, uh, reward for our efforts. And we get tank boys. Hell yes. We're probably going to take damage here, but like I care. Doesn't matter. We didn't even take damage. Oh, we did. It's fine. It's fine. Tank boys, really good though. Can 
can do damage to you because they do fire rockets on occasion, so it can be slightly detrimental here and there, but for the most part, they're, they're, they're generally pretty good. By the way, I got a mod that resprites all the grimaces, so if you notice, they're looking way better now. That's why. The item room, we found it. Froggers doing their annoying thing. What are you about, frog? Okay, you're dead. Ooh, luck penny as well. Lovely. And an amazing item to boot. And a golden poop. Oh my lord. And a lucky penny. Oh, it's all it's all coming up Millhouse right now. Beautiful stuff. Go, tank boy, go. Right. We can go back over to the um shop over here and see if we can get anything good. Although I'm almost certain it's gonna be a greed fight. I don't know why, but this floor, it just feels like it's very much going to be a greed fight. I don't trust it. Well, let's see. It's not. It's also some mapping. I'll take some mapping. Thank you, thank you. And we are going Angel Deal for the Mega Satan player. We're also trying to do Hush if we can. Okay, this time it did not insta-kill him, so... Unsure as to what happened last time. No Devil Deal for me, thank you. We'll be on our way. Hopefully we've got enough floors to still get our key pieces going. Of course, as well, we can play sack rooms if required. Dude, our, our curse rooms have been dookie considering we've got flat fire right now. We did get two black arts out of that other one, so it's not that bad, but... Not what I was hoping for from that. We're in states. My black hair. We've got an item in here. Unfortunately, it's not a good one. It's an active of which I don't really care for. Oh, God. Beautiful. It's nice to have the fires lying around, like, ready to hurt people. Ooh, slipped rib is not not typically something I'd like, but with, um, with what's it called going on here, um, guillotine, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of protection because I'm a little bit unaware of where my body is slash should be. I think a lot of chests right now. I don't know if that's because of the bonus luck we gained, but... I'm happy with it, regardless. I'm pretty sure I know where boss is based in this map. Pretty sure it's all the way down to the right. Dude, we are... We are chopping the enemies up right now. This is such a good run. Like, this, this started out so strong with the sacrifice room. It's why you gotta make these sac room players. Like, you don't always get items from them, but it's why you gotta make the players. Because it can really do you some good. And Monstrance, while not too valuable now, early game it was pretty useful, and um, in general it's just a little bit of extra damage here and there when enemies enter our sphere of influence. Get extra fire on those guys. Half a heart there for me, thank you. We got our shop here, which don't know how valuable it is to go to that right now, probably not too valuable. Oh, crab, please die crab, thank you. Ooh, he almost got me with that mushroom there. He fired a rocket right at it. 13 cent possibility. Okay. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Extra soul heart there, lovely. So yeah, this one didn't get insta-killed either. Really don't know what happened to that first guy. No angel deal as of yet, sadly. Did we go to our item room? Don't remember. Oh, we got a slip rib, didn't we? We did go to item room, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, you got him with a rocket there. Oh, my slip rib, like, fucking shot his little skull shot straight back at him. That was perfect. Yeah, we seem decently protected with our head blocking shots, Cuba me, and slip rib. Like, actually taking damage to projectiles is not super common for us anymore. Explosions, however. Bit of a different story. Not going to be quite as forgiving over those. Okay, that's something that's pretty hard to avoid. Okay, this little skeleton boy seems not interested in us whatsoever. Okay. All good. I will play this. These chests are generally pretty good. We've got the hit red HP to make it work. 
And we got all bandage as well. Lots of pills, why not? Speed down, don't care for. Full health, should have saved that. Health down, very sad. Look up, tears down. Do, do you know what? Just an all-round bag of shit. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Stop fucking telling me to take pills, they're bullshit. I'll never stop taking them completely, but goddamn. I always get comments like, You don't take pills enough. This is why. They're crap. <laughs> they ruin runs. When I'm on a run like this that's like stable enough as it is, so like I can I can take the stats down and still be fine, then I will take them, but it's it's still gonna piss me off when I take them and it's like, oh, there's a he here's a health down, here's a speed down, here's a tears down. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Like this, I have to take it. It's just a big ol' infested. I think we actually managed to get a crack on that when we opened this up, you know. Didn't even mean to. Teardrop charm's kind of interesting, but honestly what we've got right now is so much better. Oh, this is a bit... It's a bit upsetting. Hoping for a bit more there. Kind of a bad crawl space, that. Right, I'm already I'm already in for a penny and for a pound. Give me the pills. Three three bad trips. Three Yeah yeah. Take pills more often, turtle. You should take pills more often, turtle. Let's see what this one is, shall we? Oh yeah, useless. Um, don't really care for either of those items. Oh, what the hell? What hit me then? Oh, the little teeth thing, I think. Item room we haven't been to yet. Yeah, we've taken a lot of pills this floor, and we've gained one luck, I think, so far. We've gained one luck from the pills. Not a great track record. Oh, you bastard little shit. Good job I gained a lot of health this floor, because I have lost a lot. Lead pencil's very nice. Ooh, do you know what lead pencil would go really well with? High tier rate. Do you know what we don't have because of a tears down pill? High tier rate. Silly commenters. I know that I, I'm, I'm taking the piss, by the way. I realize that the vast majority of you don't say that. I just get, I, just, I end up getting those comments like every, like once every three or four videos where I won't take a pill or something. And everyone, I get like two or three comments being like, why? Why do you take pills? Why do you take pills? It's like, it's the fucking garbage. <laughs> you want to have a good run? You, oh, I don't even have a... <gasps> I'm so annoyed. A bomb dropped there. I mean, we've got Sacred Heart, so I can't be that annoyed, but... Please stay open, please stay open, please stay open. You... Fuck it, I completely forgot. Oh my god, okay. Another tears down. Perfection. Right. We're, we're, we're at a situation now where we're dangerously close. We're dangerously close to not being able to do Mega Satan because of my stupidity. Very much not happy with my current tier rate. Very happy with my damage and fire rate, I've got to say. Tear it, ain't cutting the cheese. My my range is pretty good as well, which is nice. He lovely. We don't have a sack room, unfortunately, yet. Okay, well, old bandage is just going crazy here. Okay, that was pretty good stuff. Right, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to play a sack room next time I see one. I think my run has it in it. Right. Oh, God, yeah, my tier rate is, is pretty depressing right now. I'm trying to just stand near these guys. I'll walk into them. Crawl space again, hello. Oh, this is kind of interesting. So, just, just push that down there. 
Nope, nope, nope. Not what I wanted to do at all. There you go, baby. And then we can go into here. Well, obviously we're taking the clear. That's it's just obvious. Don't think we want anything else, to be honest. Everything else in here is kind of meh. But the clear... With the clear, I shall play. Very, very good. Means if we get a tears up in the future, we can have two of them. Which is what I need right now. Okay, stop firing rockets, my guy. There's no need. Also, drop that battery. And in here, we've got the alpha coin. God damn it, active items, go away. Can't exactly be sad about this run, but... I'm allowed to be sad about active items. Black heart, thank you. Doubtful we got a sack room this floor. I guess I'll take spider mod. Why not? There was a token in there, but I didn't really care to get the time of day. Been really low on bombs and keys this whole run as well, which has been kind of a kind of a bummer. I'm trying to keep my bombs though. I'm not using on secret rooms because it's like if I get another angel deal, I really want to have bombs ready this time. That sucked real hard last time. Wow, that room just kind of cleared itself. This is depth two. Hey, good old leech, why not? I could have taken two leeches there, to be honest. I probably should have done. But I'm thinking of taking um, double negative for the extra damage. Polaroid doesn't do too much for me. Ooh, before I do that, though, I could um, check what's going on in boss rush. Leave you two there for a second. Killing enemies grants you tears up. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Give me that. And do I want to take any of these? Spawns of rotten heart and pick up. Transfer tears to inflict long lasting weak poison effect. Poison enemies will not periodically spawn blue flies. Blue flies spawn this way. Can't attack the entity that spawned them. Um. Turn skills from 10% to 0 luck to 136. Um, yeah, that seems decent enough to do boss rush for, I'd say. Right, let's keep this going. Yeah, I gotta say, the, the Gusty Blood stuff is really good. Very happy to have that. I don't know if it would have stacked. I was tempted to take it twice, but... I think this long-lasting poison, plus the poison enemies spawning fly, seems pretty good. We're going to kind of rinse through the entirety of boss rush here anyways. Of course, we are trying to fit Hush into this equation, so I'm going to make sure to do that. At the minute, we, we get, looks like we're going to have to do sack room if we want to do anything, which isn't great considering I have a bunch of rotten hearts. I do have an extra life, though, so I can take the risk still, I think. Why'd you give me a spatula before, good lad? Oh, that was a bad hit. Get above this lad. Thank god I didn't double leech, though. Beautiful. What are you doing, monster? Why are you on fire? Was that spider mod doing that to you, perhaps? Maybe it were. Oop. Good old kingpin. Don't really know what happened to him, but... He kind of eviscerated himself, so I'll accept it and move on with my life. Basically, I'm hoping that what happens is Lead Pencil just triggers the moment a boss spawns. Right, another Rotten Heart. 
Rotten hearts are good, but for sacking, they're not very good. The blue flies are very tasty, I've got to say. It seems like we're getting a ton of them as well, so I think that corpse flower thing was a good thing to take. Good old B. Don't know where I'm getting all these batteries from. Is that from my battery baby? Do I have battery baby? Uh, no, I don't have battery baby this run. That's, that was a run before. I don't know where I'm thinking of that from. Oh. Should be almost done now, I think. Kind of rinsing through the waves at this point. Beautiful stuff. I love it when a boss literally instantly dies. Just get hit there, but it's not a problem. There you go. We get forever alone. Obviously not very good, but it's something. We'll take the negative for the damage. And we'll be on our way. It's not a lot of damage, but 2.9. It's definitely not nothing to turn our nose up at, right? Right, we are going to have to do some exploration here for a sack room. Hello. I was not expecting this bountiful thing. Still no good pill. Yeah, I'm going to have to explore these floors for a sack room. Don't think High Priest is going to be one we want to take. Couldn't even move out of the way of that guy if I wanted to. Just keep speeding along here. Let our Mega Herming do most of the work. And the flies, to be honest. The flies are obviously doing a hell of a lot as well. Beautiful stuff. Don't think I want that. Gotta check all these dead ends because the map doesn't reveal what rooms are special rooms. Not liking how much damage I'm taking right now though. Gotta be gotta be stated. I'd like some soul hearts to replace my uh, fallen HP. The enemies like this that keep getting me jump out the goddamn ground. Yeah, I'd like to not attack the guy I can't deal damage to first, please. Okay, boss is here. Quickly do that big room and check if that bottom room there isn't a sack room. Probably isn't, but it's not. Had to find out just in case. It was an easy room anyways. Temperance? Eh. Actually, wait. Temperance is maybe good. Okay. You used it a little bit too much there, but it allows me to get rid of my Rotten Hearts, which I think is pretty valuable for us. Damage-wise, it isn't, but sack rooming, it's, it's, it's better to not have them. Right. Quickly go back here and grab this. I did accidentally expel one um, hit of actual soul heart health as well, I'm pretty sure. Bullshit room. Right. Tis the season for the boss. And I can blow this up as well, actually, and see if I can get a heart out of it. Exactly like that. And there you go, we're ready to sacrifice. Should the opportunity present itself, that is... Beautiful stuff, you're dead. Oh, you actually hit me though. I kind of expected you to be dead before you rolled, but you managed to squeeze that in there, didn't you? Ooh, lucky, lucky. A devil deal. Exactly what I was hoping for, just getting some... Oh, I didn't steal anything this floor. I should have just stole one of those. I didn't even copy the syringe. I'm stupid. I kind of forgot I had modeling clear, let, let me be honest. Kind of completely forgot. Right, sack room, come on. You must reveal yourself to me, sack room. Oh god. He fired a rocket at the worst place possible there. I, I'm going to have to drop out my file to do sack room, otherwise it won't work. Kind of forgot about that. Oh look, pills. Honestly, no. Pills? 
I've, I've wasted too much time and energy on you. No, no more. Can we stop with these skull exits, please? Hey, here we go, sack room. Good, good. Drop our trinket out here. Leave that at the door. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. I don't know why I picked that up. Nine. And then ten. Ah, I got the money. God damn it. Still, there you go. We got a key. We're good to go now. Probably should have taken a second Celestial Berry. I, I keep forgetting to use it. I apologize. It does work if you add two as well, which is the annoying thing. Right, obviously health is now looking a little bit worse for wear, but overall, successful little run there. Keep running it through. Confused by the premise of this room. So much so that I've taken quite a lot of damage. Um... This isn't great. <laughs> I can't hit this guy. Tank boys, can you, I was going to say, can you like fill in for me? Okay, Hush is, Hush is not a great idea with the amount of HP I have left here, but... I'm doing it anyways. Waste of my modeling clear again. Stupid. Gimpy, obviously. Um, That's pretty good. I don't know if having two of them will help, but I guess I'll take both just in case. That's nice. Pretty lucky. Card, I guess, could be useful. Ah, it's not. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. The extra damage up from that's nice. Ah, oh, bugger. I don't think I've ever been hit by that attack before. First time for everything, I guess. Right, we'll see if we can actually live through this. I hope, bloody well hope we can. A very strong eye on my actual body, not my goddamn head. We're doing very good damage, which is nice, obviously. But it's not, it's not really enough. Leech, do you want to latch on to him, please? Leeches on him now, at least, doing some extra damage. Not a lot again, but something. Or flies as well. Leech, can you stop getting off of him and onto me? Like, just, just stay on him, please. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Thank God for that. I didn't realize there was a few hearts over here. Probably not a good idea to come over here during this attack, but I did. I'm a gambler, I guess. I'm trying to use Monstrance as well for a bit of extra damage where I can. Not always plausible. But yeah, Leech plus uh, Gimpy here makes us relatively safe, actually, thinking about it. I'm able to kill enemies and get half hearts, and if uh, Leech kills them, he gives us a half heart that way as well, so not too bad in that, fr in that front, I guess.
Right. Okay, we're pretty much done now. Probably gonna get hit a few more times here, maybe. With all this crap going on. Oh no, we did it. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. And we get purity unlocked. Lovely. I do love purity. Um, and we go down. We're just going for Mega Satan now. It's pretty much a beeline to the end. I think we know where we're going already here, don't we? Surprised I didn't get hit there. And if, if, if health is looking a little sketchy as well, we can always let the leech um, do some of his business. Oh, really? Honestly, old bandage as well. We've got like some really good survivability here. Leech, old bandage, and gimpy all working in tandem is pretty pretty nice stuff, really. We've got the ability to get soul hearts and red hearts from getting hit. And we've got the ability of getting soul hearts from ki killing enemies. Uh, red hearts from killing enemies, sorry. So, a lot of good stuff going on for us here. I want, like, Hall Boy there. Hall Boy. Go away. Can't do anything while I'm over a gap, though, can you? Ha. I'm not over a gap anymore. Fuck. Oh, you bitch. I didn't realize you did that. Okay. Double Soul Heart. I, I forgive you. Don't forgive you anymore, though. Okay, Red Hearts, I forgive you. A lot of forgiving and unforgiving going on right now. I really don't like these enemies that spew out all the burns, because they just cover such a wide area for such a small enemy. Right. No worry on those guys. All we need now is like a Charm of the Vampire or something to get even more healing and work. Absolutely set. Okay, lovely. We don't need to do the lamb, although we could explore to get chests. Although, realistically, I don't think we need it. Ouija board. Uh, let's take Guppy's tail um, as an extra and then go do some rooms to get some chests. I really am not a fan of the way this room is mapped out. But yeah, with, with Guppy's Tail, I'm hoping that the chance of us getting uh, chests is reasonably high. We get quite a lot of extra items out of it. Another one. You see, this is this is why we do it, baby. Getting a ghost pepper makes a big difference. That attack always hits me, sadly, but luckily we have a lot of red HP lying around. Fruit cake? How is fruit cake tier two, man? It's so goddamn good. Game yeah, be tripping. This game do be tripping. Okay, oops, soul heart there that I did not see. Ah, oh, it's because I can't reach it, that's why. Right. Keep this moving. Getting extra look upgrades as well constantly from this. Don't really mind how much health I go in with as long as I have this amount of red hearts filled. I'll be pretty happy. Soul heart health is kind of whatever. So Cretion uses my uh, my tier effects as well. So it's with Fruitcake plus uh, Sacred Heart, it's, it's doing some good stuff. Taking that full card in probably isn't the worst idea because um, then if things go drastically wrong, I can get out and heal. So I'll grab that full card. Basically, which means that any red hearts that are lying on the floor, I can come and grab. So, 
Krampus's head. Apparently hurt myself with thingy there. Look it. Oh god. Kind of a hectic room here. Yeah, I knew I was going to be getting hit by something. This is why I got all these hearts about though. Like I said, just enough to keep her, keep me topped up. What the hell? What, why'd you spawn there? It was right next to my... Oh. Damn shithead. Also, where are my chests at? <laughs> I have Guppy's, uh, Guppy's tail. There's not enough chests for having Guppy's tail. Not even nearly enough. Why have I always got this goddamn boss? Every room's got this goddamn boss in it. And then something we don't even want. We do apparently have two of these respawn hearts as well, which I'm curious to see how valuable they'll end up being for us. But this, apart from ghost pepper and fruit cake, everything else here was kind of crappy. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's one of the items from Retribution that I would class as almost completely broken. Right, where the hell are we actually going here? Where the hell's our starting room? Down to the left, maybe? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's go. Give me that first. Flight. Tier rate up and um, damage up. The tier rate being the most important of the lot, obviously. I got hit pretty much straight away there due to my doofusness. Oh, my little, my little rocket boy just hit me. a little annoying. Oh my god, okay, I'm taking a lot of damage here. And so far, uh, ball of bandages, not sorry, old bandage hasn't paid out once, so uh, not ideal. But it looks like we're killing him pretty quickly here. Oh, that was, a, he brim snapped me. He goddamn brim snapped me. This is going to be really rough to uh, stay alive here. I think it's just going to be relying on my fires, pretty much. Okay, we got it. Are we going to get Delirium? We never get Delirium on Satan anymore, so how are we going to do this time? We are! Wow, okay. And we got a full card as well, which I'm definitely going to take with me. Just heal up here. Not full card, world card, sorry. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Red baby unlocked. World card here allows us to see all of our bosses, of course. Um, I don't. Based on this, I have basically no idea which one's Delirium. You know, kind of look of the draw here. I'm gonna go for this one first because I'm pretty sure this isn't Delirium. I don't mind about doing Delirium early, I'd just rather be on full health before I do. Token Bag. I think Token Bag is worth duplicating. Like, tokens can be insane. Dirty mind's fine. Right, yeah, these are the ones where I'm just unsure. I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. I'm going to go for the top ones first, though. No. Boom is just going to give us some bombs. Although, technically, I think Boom is better now than the thingy, because we can't refresh that, so I guess it's something. Uh, consumes one herd have but permanently makes Isaac shoot more tears in a random direction. Okay, that's not very good. At least not for right now. This might be Delirium here, but I'm going to go for it anyways. It's not okay. I'm liking the secretion right now. Snake oil, ah, uh, that's going to be kind of crazy, right? 
Okay, no, my tears aren't signif much bigger, really. And my tear hurts so bad. Okay, so we've done all those bosses up there. I'm glad that all of them are kind of, like, in the same general areas. Not a ton of moving about. So we've got both of our tokens in here. So we don't need to use them yet. But basically, if we find something really good, then we can token it up. Can I stop hurting myself with fruitcake, please? And you're like, hey turtle, just stop shooting into doorways. Mm. Don't tell me how to play my play this game. This is better at this point, I think. I don't even know what I'm hoping for to work with the tokens, but Quickly grab more health before we do this. Can't be asked to walk back two rooms. Just give me that. Very bad. Spawns an uh, item from the current room pool. Ooh. Turns one heart container or two soul hearts. Okay, that would reduce our health by a good bit, but that is very tokenable. Okay, this is delirium anyway, so it doesn't matter. That would have been one to token, definitely. If I could stop hurting myself, that'd be good. Oh, there's creep on the floor. I was like, why am I taking so much damage? There's like a ton of creep on the floor that I'm just walking into over and over again. We're getting a lot of payouts from our various types of... Health giveth backeth. I don't even really know what's going on with Delirium right now. Yeah, he's, he's telefragging the hell out of me today. Like, just stop it. God damn, the telefrags are on point today, my guy. Yeah, we got him there. We got him. Lovely. Nice little run there. That was a, quite a fun one, actually. Um, just, yeah, a lot of crazy shit going on. Good old Sacred Heart. Can never go wrong. Bit of fruitcake towards the end, you gotta love it. And there you go, we get a nice little finish and we unlock... Yes, the Eucharist. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.